Welcome back, gang. Todd here. It's time for yet another vlog. As you notice, I missed last week's, and I do apologize about that. I've been kind of slow for the last couple weeks. Um, just had a lot of my plate, a lot of things going on, so I just haven't had a lot of chance to dedicate to YouTube. But I'm back. I've got some more content lined up, so I thought we'd go ahead and jump into that. However, I think the first topic of uh, this episode should be the vlog itself. Do people like watching it? Do you, do you like watching it? Um, leave your comments down below. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this. Uh, out of all my videos, this seems to be some of my least viewed episodes on my vlogs, with the exception of the Mega 600 one. But most of these seem to be the lower amount of things viewed on my channels is the vlogs. So I'm not sure if I want to continue them. You'll notice I removed the keeping it real from the logo on the vlog, plus I didn't mention it until now. Uh, I've decided not to use that, and we'll use that for something else in the future, but for the vlogs, I'm just going to call them vlogs. It makes sense. I mean, I'm not a rap star or anything, so <laughs> I'm going to just keep just calling them vlogs. That's what they are. Uh, but yeah, I've got a couple items I picked up this week, so I thought I'd go ahead and get right into them. Uh, number one, these are all going to appear on the channel over the next uh, few weeks, next month or so. Uh, so first up is this guy right here. This is a Raspberry Pi 3. I just picked this up a couple days ago. I got it on Friday. I think it was released a week ago today, so it's only been out for about a week now. Uh, I've had a chance to briefly play with it, and i got to admit the performance on this thing is smoking fast compared to the Pi 2. Uh, I'm going to do a video or two on it. However, mine's going to be a little different. Uh, Content-wise, I'm not going to just show a bunch of Dreamcast and Nintendo 64 games running on Pi 2 versus 3. I'm not going to do that. I got something different lined up uh, that might be more interest to my viewers, especially our Amiga viewers. So uh, keep uh, tuned for that. Uh, speaking of Amiga, I also picked up a new power supply for my Amiga 4000. You might remember uh, my video from last year from... I don't know, was it summer, fall, something like that? My Mega 4000, where I was going to open it up, remove the cooling fan that was in the power supply because it was mad loud. And when I opened it up on video, you, you remember seeing that I was surprised to find that inside the, the case of the power supply was a hacked up PC power supply. Uh, that was something that the seller, the Mega 4000, to me never mentioned. And actually, I just went back to my emails today to verify that. And yeah, he never mentioned it. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he just didn't know. Even though he knew a lot about Amigas and he knew it was recapped and who recapped it and stuff like that. But I'm going to give him the benefit of doubt that either it slipped his mind or maybe he just you know didn't realize it. Maybe he had a stack of Amiga 4000s and didn't realize which ones had the power supplies that were hacked up. So I'm not a big deal. But um, one thing we'll do with this power supply, I'm going to test it real quick to make sure it works. Because uh, I actually haven't done it. I just got it like two days ago. Um, we'll test to make sure as it is it works okay. But what we'll do is I'm going to recap the power supply before I even use this thing, before I put it into the 4000. Uh, there's a fellow on the um, in the Amiga community. Uh, if you've been involved with the Amigas for any length of time, you've heard the name Cosmos. Uh, he's a fellow that's based out of France, and he he's done a lot of really uh, kind of elite Amiga mods and uh, Amiga fixes. Uh, if you've got a relatively rare piece of hardware, uh, accelerator or something like that with a, some unknown defect to it, more than likely this guy can fix it. He's just like a wizard when it comes to repairing Amiga hardware. Uh, there's some things he can't fix, stuff that requires custom ROMs or ROMs that were, you know, from the original manufacturer on 060 boards that no longer, you know, available, stuff like that. He, he can't only work so much, but when it comes to hardware, this guy's a wizard. He also sells cap kits. He sells cap uh, capacitor kits for motherboards, Amiga motherboards, and power supplies. So I'm going to go ahead and order a um, power supply a cap kit from him to install in this. And also, while I'm in there, I'm going to go ahead and replace it with the original uh, fan that I was going to do in the original video, the Noctua 80mm. So when I'm done with this power supply, hopefully it should be pretty much up to spec with a original brand new power supply uh, with better capacitors than these original had. And also, it'll have uh, the silent fan in it. Okay, and the last of my pickups is this. This is one of the Buffalo Super Nintendo controller uh, gamepad USB clones. Um, and I've got to admit, I've had a chance to use this quite a bit, and this thing is extremely close to the original controller. Uh, the way the buttons feel on the front, the face buttons, the four face buttons on the front, these things are damn close to the original. I mean, to the point where if you held one controller and held the other, I, it'd be hard to tell the, the difference between them. Uh, the D-pad is extremely close. The shoulder buttons, maybe a little different there. But overall, this controller is an extremely good clone of the original controller. Considering the fact that you can buy that for about $11 on Amazon, and if you have prime shipping, it's free shipping. That's, that's, that's damn hard to beat for a good quality uh, four-button controller. Well, actually, six-button, which you consider the shoulders. 
Well, guys, I think that about wraps it up for this week's vlog. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up. Uh, especially leave a comment if you're interested in me continuing these vlogs. Maybe you think you I should do something different with them, maybe a different format, or you know, just ditch them all together. Maybe they're just not very informative. I don't know. Feel free to leave it down below. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.